One of the easiest ways new freelance writers can ramp up their income is to learn a new skill. And right now in 2023, AI is exploding all over their internet, in the news, in all the different industries right now. And there's lots of reports talking about like AI is taking over millions and millions of jobs and the people have to up level their skills. Now, as a freelance writer online, we need to, you know, learn about AI writing tools. It's not the time to turn your back from this. It's not a way to look at this in a negative viewpoint, thinking that AI will take away your content writing jobs or your copywriting jobs, or even your editing jobs or your video editing jobs or other freelancing jobs that you might have in your side hustle. What you need to to do as a freelance writer who's been doing this for years like me or who is brand new to the online landscape of writing is to know about AI. And for this video, I want to talk about sort of the part B of the AI writing tools. And those are the AI detection tools or AI detectors. These are tools that companies, that educational institutions, schools, colleges, publications are using to make sure that what they are receiving from writers, from marketers, from entrepreneurs, the writing that they have is not AI or that passes at least a certain percent of AI versus human written. So these AI detectors, Look at the content, look at key phrases that an AI or robotic writing is and pairs that with other phrases that you may have written or they think that maybe it's not written by AI and gives you a percent. A lot of these detectors will, some of them won't. They will just sort of lean that it's mostly human written and or mostly AI written. One thing you do need to know about these AI detectors is that they are highly unreliable. I'm gonna show you several different AI detection tools and you will see the different outputs that we will get. I'm also going to try my hardest to, you know, show you I don't have purely AI content anywhere. Even on my other websites, I do edit it so we can take a look and see about parts of that. Perhaps I did leave some mostly AI writing in it and not edit it, but I do tend to heavily edit any kind of AI output. So we can take a look at that and see if it passes, it's very easy to fool these AI detector tools. And if your client, your freelance writing client is coming at you saying, I think you used AI, I checked it with, you know, X, a detector tool, they named the tool and it showed me that it's, you know, 91% AI written. I don't think I'm going to use your services anymore. That has happened. I have done a video on that aspect of what to do when a client accuses you of using AI when you never used AI, there's a lot going on here, but that's why I want writers to first know about AI, then use AI and then use these AI detectors or know, at least be familiar with them. So why would you even use them? Let's look at a couple use cases of using an AI detector tool. One reason is to make sure that the edits that you used on the AI output shows through in the AI detector so that it is mostly human written. I have clients that give me AI output, asks me to edit it so that it's more human written. And so I would need an AI detector tool to show them, well, this is what I got in this tool, this is what I got in that tool, and in that tool kind of thing. Another reason to use an AI detector is to see if the writing that you did passes that it is human written because you wrote it as human written or you get some copy from let's say a guest poster and you want to just see if if it's flagged or not kind of thing and in that case you might have to edit it and then the you know most important use case of using an ai detector is to show clients what you're writing, you know, is made up of in these detectors and to let them know that these detectors are unreliable. But to be honest with them, there are many different ways to, to show that you did the work. And I do have it in the video and in a blog post of how to do that. A suggestion also is to talk about it in the negotiation process to see now, one person did reach out for my SEO writing and I said, I use these tools. Let me know if you're comfortable or not. And I haven't heard back from them. So 
obviously they think that I'm, you know, I don't know, hoodwinking them or something, but I was very honest saying, here's a blog post on a niche site that I use AI on my blog. I never use it. So you can see the difference. I know how to use them, but I haven't heard back from them. So we'll see, maybe they'll hem and haw and think about this or not. So it's up to them, of course, and I do want to be truthful and honest with them. All right, so let's look at a couple of ones. The first one is Originality AI. It is a paid AI detection tool and a plagiarism tool, and probably the one tool that most companies and clients will use because it is paid. And so it just has a different connotation around it. It's not a free one. So usually you, when you pay for things, it's a different level of quality. But to be honest with you, it is very easy to fool Originality AI. I have put content specifically from other tools like Jasper AI or ChatGPT comes out as 100% human. So they have updated Originality AI. So maybe it's not as, you know, cut and dry like that. So what we can do is here is the dashboard. It's usually for like teams, you know, and I have been using it here. There's lots there, I've been using it. So let's look at a new scan. You can put the title in, I usually don't, and you can check for plagiarism. It does cost extra. Since this is a paid tool, I don't need the plagiarism aspect because I'm just wanting to detect if there's any AI. So let's go over to my blog and look at a blog post. Now my blog is, my thoughts, my writing, there is no AI in it. But what I will tell you about my blog is that I do use keywords and keyword phrases and that can come out as robotic or AI. And I do use Grammarly. Grammarly is AI. So if you use Grammarly in your content before you submit it to a client, it's going to read and flag as AI. So just be aware of that, that I do say that these are my thoughts, but I have to edit it and I do rely on some tools that use AI. So let's just look at just like my story here and see what I get. It's a short example or a short sample of my writing. Uh, maybe I'll start here and do a little bit like that. The more you can put into a tool, the better it will come out as more human written. But some of these tools, like I said, only have a certain word count kind of thing. And I think Originality AI, you can do more. So it's only 500 there. Let's see if we can get maybe a thousand. See, maybe that might be flagged, you never know. Okay, so we have at least a thousand words. Let's see if we can scan this. I just want to use AI detector. It will cost 11 credits, so versus if I did the plagiarism, it costs 22 credits. So as you can see, I just want the detection of AI. Now there shouldn't be. So let's see if I, there. So it is saying 68% original, 32% AI. You can look and the colors will indicate what they are saying is AI. So that's funny how they think this is AI written, which is not. This was a great call from Salim. Clients that don't know what they want will never be satisfied with your work. So make it clear before working with them that you are in control of the content process and that you tell them what you will be doing. But all this is green and it passes. So it's that one little bit, which is surprising that they think that that's AI written. But do you see like, so even though my content is 100% original, it's still gonna get flagged because of the way I write my sentences in, the, in these little sen three sentences, four sentences there, just, ugh. I don't want to nitpick even with clients if they just nitpick my content like that. I wrote most it's it's my thoughts, right? So you can see how unreliable these tools are. Now these other tools can't do a thousand words, I don't think. So let's go and AI content at scale AI detection. Say that it's 98% accurate. Let's see. And again, I don't know if I can put in a thousand words. It doesn't tell me how many words I can put in, but let's just try up to here maybe. Okay. So content at scale is saying that it's a hundred percent like the human over here. They have some like, Hmm, kind of things like, I'm not quite sure, you know, one sentence here, they asked me if I could write a post for them. And I said, yes, I mean, <laughs> it's a generic sentence, I guess, <laughs> but it, that's exactly what my thoughts are. Right. So it, it does 
point out like a sentence here and there. This could read, you might be wondering why am I in invested in this client? That, that sounds, I guess, what an AI writing would indicate. They do a lot of like firstly and secondly, and you might be wondering this, and have you ever thought about that? So I can see how that could be flagged. But yeah, you can see throughout this, even though it's 100%, there are some raised eyebrows, like, hmm, perhaps not everything I write here is 100% human written, which it is, but it passes here. So let's copy this into another AI detection tool. This one is Writer. It does 1500 characters. So I don't know if this is too much. It looks like it's 3900 characters. So this one might have a different, it's going to because it can't have all of this sample of my writing to indicate that it's, we have that. So let's analyze this. So this one says 100% human written. That's great. So this passes here. And then we can try this one sort of conglomerates all of the different the likelihood of these tools saying if it's written by AI or not. So this sort of sums it up. I'm going to check for AI. Oops, I have to agree to the terms. All right. So your uh, content appears human. And for a freelance writer, if you don't want to go through all these tools, you can just do something like this and show them like these are all the AI detectors and it passed these ones and those ones it didn't pass kind of thing. Like you can do something like that and that it's 100% human. So let's go over to my niche website. I use Jasper AI. I use ChatGPT. I write the post too. I have a ghostwriter. There's a lot of different voices on this blog. This blog post I wrote with the help of ChatGPT in particular. So let's see how this how this plays out. I did try to you know write a lot of the content myself, but once we get into these list ideas, I let ChatGPT just run its thing. All right, so we'll scan this. All right, so it's saying 100% original, no AI, which is kind of interesting when you look at it. See how I fooled originality AI? I just told you that a lot of this stuff is written by ChatGPT, but I was able to edit it so that it reads more human than what AI gave me. Also, I don't just like copy everything AI gave me. So something like this one sentence was was ChatGPT. This was ChatGPT, ChatGPT. This was mine, this was mine, and this was mine, right? So I just mixed it up. This was all mine. So I might do like one section all mine, then one section mostly ChatGPT, one section all mine, and do like that to just make it more readable. I also just pick and choose my sentences with ChatGPT so that it comes out more human-like. There are content pieces on the site that read more AI. It all depends on my mood for that day. It all depends on a lot of factors. Like if I need to get just the content out there, I'm gonna just sort of take whatever ChatGPT gives me and put it out there. And I'm gonna work on it later at another time and edit it. So that could be the reason. But generally speaking, I do my best to incorporate ChatGPT or Jasper or another AI writing tool into my flow and my, my writing style. So let's go to content at scale, plug this in and see what it says. 100% human written. Again, this is mostly ChatGPT with my editing process of how to get it to sound more human. Let's look at writer. It doesn't, I have to get rid of a lot of this. So it's just a small sample, 100% human generated. And then this one, check for AI and it passes every single tool. Isn't that interesting that my own writing on my blog where I never use AI gets flagged, but my niche website where I use AI, I edit the AI, I use different AI writing tools and it passes. So do you see how unreliable this is? A lot of marketers, a lot of people who are SEO people, they like this. They like writers who can edit the content so that when it is in these detectors, it comes out as human. They like that. And they will find writers that can edit the content so that it turns it into more human. 
So you can see it's a valuable skill to have, especially through the editing and and knowing what to pick and choose with these outputs so that you can ensure that the writing is mostly human writing, that is mostly yours. And just to let you know, I do have a course called Jasper Writing Prep Class. I'm going to rebrand it. I'm in the process of rebranding it to, I think, AI Writing Prep, something similar to that. And I'm going to be adding more modules so that's a more comprehensive course because I I'm getting a lot of people asking me about AI taking over jobs, about skill level, what do I need to learn, what do I need to do, beat AI, to work with AI, lots of things. Clients are accusing me of AI. There's lots of chatter going around AI. So I'm in the process of forming a really comprehensive course for you guys that will uh, show you my editing process, that will show you the clients that I'm working with that are happy with me using AI, things like that. So you can see how I am balancing this landscape and at the same time learning these skills. And so hopefully it will be you know ready to go soon this year kind of thing. All right, so be on the lookout for that. There's always links to my courses in the description below. And I do talk about it in my email list if I'm updating the course. So you get on my email list, you can sign up to any of my freebies that I have, like my free six day course to get paid to write. You can go ahead and sign up to that if you haven't. <laughs> and uh, let me know in the comments below, are you using these AI detectors? How are clients treating your content? What are you finding? Are you finding when you edit the AI, it's still reading AI? let me know. And as always, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.